Okay, guys. Uh, welcome to your uh, December 2022 prediction reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, okay? Um, so this could be in any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. Um, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in December, okay? What's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect, and then we'll finish off the read to see um, what you guys need to look out for, work on, okay? heal whatever that may be apply this to your own unique situation keep in mind that these are general messages um take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet um take a look oh what am i what am i talking about uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the, not and, the not and the notification bell so that you guys n get notified on when my new video is posted. I think you said that. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay. So, um... Tell me about uh, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for uh, December 2022? What does uh, Scorpio need to know for December 2022? What does December need to know? What does Scorpio need to know for December 2022? Uh, someone here is losing their train of thought. Yeah. Or that someone here is having a hard time articulating themselves or forming a sentence. Because I'm getting a little bit confused. Okay, uh, so let's just see what we have here. Okay, so with the Emperor here and the Page of Swords, I do feel like someone here is having a hard time communicating. Okay, um, it could be communication with a parent or something like that. I feel like someone here might be intimidated by a parent here or that you're trying to communicate with this person or seek someone's approval. I do feel like this has been a long process here for you, Scorpio, okay? Regarding this relationship that you're trying to bridge between you and the parent here. Could be a father figure, could be a mother figure, uh, but uh, uh, Aries energy with the, pay, uh, with the Emperor, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Seven of Pentacles and Judgment. What's happening here is I feel like I feel like you're going through a huge spiritual awakening. Uh, you know, I feel like you, you really took some time out to sort of like reassess the situation here with somebody. Because for some reason, Scorpio, I feel like this page of swords is you. Uh, this wounded inner child here. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have the King of Wands here and the Two of Swords. You know, I feel like you have a decision to make. Yeah, a, a big decision to make when it comes to the situation that you're in. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you could be seeing the truth for what it is. Okay, but there is definitely some sort of um, denial here. Yeah, there's some sort of denial. Um, Aries Leo Sag with the King of Wands here. So uh, the, um, ooh, the uh, Emperor... King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Swords here, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, King to the Queen of Cups. So Scorpio, there is also, there's a lot of people here. So I don't know if someone here needs to make a decision between two people when it comes to a romantic relationship. But I also feel like, you know, I feel like there is an energy of your guides and your angels and your ancestors you know, kind of showing you that this could be a waste of time. Something, you're wasting your time on something here, okay? Or on somebody. The Seven of Pentacles here and the Full Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy. We have Judgment and the Three of Swords, okay? You know, I hate to, you know, when I do these types of readings, I try to steer clear of love, but I, I'm feeling like some here might be coming back for a reconciliation for, for breaking your heart. Okay. One of the things I'm getting here is that someone here is trying to bridge a gap with their parents because I feel like someone here is trying to please a parent by taking someone or, ex uh, or, or being with someone that they're not meant to be with. Okay, so that's what I'm getting here. Because Scorpio, you're, you already have a soulmate here. Okay, because uh, there's two masculine. Yeah, so this 
king, uh, this emperor is a father figure or a mother figure, okay? And, and I feel like there's a feminine and two other masculines here. And I feel like you have someone. This is someone that you really truly love. But in order for you to be on, you know, on peaceful grounds with a parent, I feel like someone here is going along with this process that this parent is setting them up on. Seems like it's kind of like, you know, a matchmaker situation. It could be, you know, it could be like a, you know, traditional cultural thing where, you know, uh, you know, a setup, you know, setting up your romantic partner is a very pre prevalent, okay? So I feel like you might be coming to a realization that you could be kind of wasting your time on someone that you don't want to be with here. The King of Wands and the Hangman and the Two of Swords here and the Five of Swords. I, I do feel like there's a parent that's meddling and, and I do feel like it's deeply rooted in tradition and culture here. Yeah, what happened, what's happening is they feel like you're trying to break this pattern here. Um, um, who am I doing? Scorpio. I'm so sorry. I'm so confused. You could be completely confused about this whole situation. It could be a situation, okay, you're, you're, you're in love with your King of, uh, King of Cups here, but uh, this King of Wands could be hot, hot as fuck, but you know you, you, you just don't have any sort of connection with this individual. But it, it just seems like, yeah, it just seems like you're breaking some sort of, you know, indoctrination, okay? Indoctrinations, uh, you know, this, you know, these cultural and these, uh, you know, traditional uh, structures that you don't really resonate with or that you believe in, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. Tell me more about Scorpio here. Tell me more about Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know for December 2022? Four of Swords and the Seven of Cups. And then a Six of Cups here and the High Priestess. Oh shoot. And the Empress here, and the Death card. Wow, we have the Emperor to the Empress. We have the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. One of the things I'm getting here is that only one person, one parent is doing this. The other per parent is not so much really into this. Maybe this Empress, I'm feeling this, this is a parent. This parent was so in it at some point, but I feel like this parent gave up. The Empress, Libra Taurus, the Death card, Scorpio Energy. Uh, we have the Six of Cups here and the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces. One of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like your parents have always dictated how your life is instead of checking in with yourself. And I feel like you just went along with it, but I feel like that could be shifting, that could be changing because I feel like you're, you're currently in a situation that you're doing something that you don't want to do. Okay, and yeah, there is a bit of confusion here, and I feel like you're trying to find that quiet place to figure out, you know, what you want to do right now. And I feel like you already know here, Scorpio. Okay, four of swords and the nine of cups, seven of cups here, and the six of swords. I feel like you already know who your wish is, who your wish fulfillment is. Okay, and I feel like you're 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 probably gonna stick with your person. Okay, or move back towards your person here. The Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess here, and the Magician. It seems like you did separate from somebody to move towards somebody else, but there's an energy of sort of like holding on to this person and not letting this person go and trying to manifest this back because I do feel like perhaps this King of Cups is someone who's very, very, very hurt. Tell me about the Empress here. The Four of Cups, the Death card, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so this Empress is going to stop controlling your life or stop dictating your life but I feel like this emperor is still going to continue yeah it seems like this is a dicey situation here okay so I, I feel like this is a very like a very uh specific reading okay but yeah but just apply this to your own unique situation so uh Scorpio I hope this was helpful I hope this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.